I've just been someone to a tribunal. Of course, darling, I'll call you later. <laughs> All right. Oh. Pamela, this is an office. You can't be making calls and shouting on top of your voice, disturbing the peace of this establishment. What, what is wrong with you? Well, Martin told me that most of the workers have not been paid for the last four months. Well said. Did he also give you the reason? What stupid reason would make you withhold people's money for the past four months in this hard economy? Exactly the point. This hard economy. Why would they waste materials and resources during production and still come out with inferior products for the company? That's not true. I don't think so. Because most of these guys you're talking about have been working here for the past 20 years and they've never, ever wasted any resources. I will not spend a dime on incompetent people because as it stands, I will be summoned as to why the company is headed towards bankruptcy. Pamela. This conversation is over, Charles. She's lying, sir. I know. Um, I wanted to tell the workers to go back to their seat. They should resume work. Yes. Okay? okay? I have everything under control. Okay, no problem, sir. Yeah, but why wasn't I informed about this before now? Sir, so you know that the king put her there and said I should report and take instructions from her alone. Really? Yes, sir. It's okay. Can go. Thank you, sir. My father just wants to wreck this company. Too bad. How will she be owing people for four months? This is pure wickedness. How will people with family feed? Are you talking to father about this? And what do you think he will do about this? Hmm? What do you think he will do about this? Wasn't he the person who made her head of finance? What was he even thinking? I said, the thing is that Hara did it just to solidify his friendship with King Roger Bike. Despite that, I don't see the reason he should take the position and bestow it upon my wife. I'm tired of this whole thing. Bro, oh, come on. Don't talk like that. I know you're saying this out of anger. Calm down. Okay. Your Majesty, this is the seventh time this is happening. She can't be going around with parcel of cocaine and other hard drugs. Um, detective, I must appreciate you for your timely intervention. We are grateful. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Please, you really have to talk to her. There is a special anti-drug force in the state now, solely saddled with this responsibility. If she gets into their net, it's going to be pretty bad. My hands are going to be very tight. Hmm. It's all right, I've heard you. Thank you. 
You're welcome, Your Majesty. I have to take my leave now. Call her for me. All right, Dad. She keeps getting off the hook. She will never know that people get caught and prosecuted for crimes they commit. I told the king about the new team in the state. You did? I had to. At least now they will know that it has gone beyond our radar. Her father kept getting her off the hooks too many times. Oh, come on, Magnus. All that is about to change now. You think so? Yeah. And when you realized he was a crown prince, you decided to leave me for him, right? No! What do you mean by crown prince? Look here. Don't you dare try to play dumb with me. You don't understand? Just, 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 is a prince? <laughs> don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm saying. He didn't, huh? he didn't tell me anything. Listen to me, woman. No woman can fool me. I know you have been sleeping with the prince. No. No, no. And you think you can get to me or what? No, no. I, am... I don't want to hear anything from no, you. I am serious, Zay. There is nothing going on. I didn't even know he was a crown prince. He just came as a customer. I thought. Now listen. Now listen. Wait. Listen. I don't want ever to see you again. No. Did you get that? No, Zay has got into this. I, I'm serious. I, I, I'm not having anything to do with me. I beg you, please. Keep your life to yourself. Zay, please. Zay. That's why you are crying. Is that why you are shedding tears? When you ought to be happy. Yes. I've always told you that you are wasting your time with that man called Nze. I don't believe he's the right man for you. Eh? Why do this, my daughter? Um. By the way, where is the Prince Charles he's talking about? Charles. Charles, we know apparently he's a prince and he's been hiding it from us. What? Yes, he's the crown prince, the first son of King obi uh, It's a lie. <laughs> You're joking. Um, I mean, why should he hide such a prestige from us? Why? Prestige, Mama. Yes. Do you know what it means for a crowned prince to be attracted to you? Look at us. A crowned prince who is married. And the man that is supposed to be my boyfriend is accusing me of sleeping with him. 
Do you know what is more painful? The fact that people I thought I knew do not know me. And I do not even know the people that, that know me. See, after all these years, would think so little of me. And Charles, on the other hand, has been hiding the fact that he's a prince from us. And now he thinks I, I, I'm with Charles because he's royalty and he's a prince. Come on. You should not worry yourself about this. But <laughs> do you now confirm that Nze does not have any sense? On what sense, my child? He is senseless, useless, stupid. If you go here, or would you actually make her favorite? Um, who told him that you know that Charles is a prince? Go ahead, Walia. That's the problem. No, I did not even know. I did not know. He thinks that I knew all along. That's why I went for Prince Charles. I did not even know. We had no idea. I'm even surprised that I can't even believe it. Ne. Wipe your tears. Eh? <laughs> I've always taught you not to allow, not to allow anyone to make you feel less of a woman. Not even Nze. Konyobo. He no rich. John, look at Don't worry yourself. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't want anything to disturb you. I'll call you later. Don't worry, Noah. What's going on, Charles? I should be asking you. What is going on? What are you doing with the company's account? Huh? The company account is empty. Who sent you? Who are you, Pamela? You just said my name. Princess Pamela. Your wife. I am not playing games with you. I am not messing with you, Pamela. I just finished talking with Martins on the phone a few minutes ago. And how does that affect the price of Pamela in the market? Just shut up and hear me out. Why are you harassing me, Charles? What is this? What are you doing with the company's money? The company account is empty. What are you doing with the money? Pamela, you want to wreck my father's company? Who are you? The money I took from the company's account will be duly refunded. Okay? Did you tell me... And can you tone down your voice when you're talking to me? Because the noise is making me crazy. Did you tell me that my father before start doing your stupid things? Excuse me? Tell you or your father why? It's not necessary. I just told you that the money will be duly refunded. Besides, I'm the authorizing authority as far as company's finance is concerned. So please, turn it down a notch. Whatever you are, I do not care to know. Now listen to me. I give you one week to return all the money you've used. Else, we will ride it together. Whatever, Charles. I've said what I need to say. So that's it. Come in. Your Majesty. Whew. Pamela. As you know, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, within my past that you will ask for and you've ever asked for that I have not granted. As a matter of fact, I have denied my two sons several privileges and opportunities just for you to have them. I hope you are not mistaken my magnanimity for weakness. Your Majesty, I... Well, Charles has given you one week ultimatum. I am making it one month. 
are the expiration of that period. If you don't return every single cover that you took from my company, oh, I will so deal with you. And your father will do nothing about it. Because as we speak, he is already aware. My father must definitely tell me what both of you discussed. Because no one no one, not even you, your majesty, dares to threaten Princess Pamela. No one. Pick up, father. Pick up. Father. Okay, mama, I have to... It's okay. Take my leave now. Bino, won't you at least come and bid farewell to your visitor? Um, I think you know the reason why she is still unhappy. Uh, yes, Mama, I know. I know. At least I still have to give her some time to get over it. Please, I am a poor widow, single-handedly taking care of my fatherless child. I don't want to incur the wrath of King Ojadike, not at all. Everyone in this community dreads him. Please. Mama, your daughter and I I just casual friends. There's nothing to attached, okay? Yes, it's just that that's the way she makes me feel whenever I'm around her, which makes me to always come around. That's just it. She is all I have. Everything I have. Please. It's okay. She's my friend. And I will assure you that no harm will befall her. Okay? Thank you, my prince. It's okay, ma'am. I have to go now. It's okay. Hey, I, 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 hey, I. Mm, no matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what, if a chuku kuna ye menoi, man no propose, God no dispose. So who can change the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise. I need to make something clear to you. You and I have nothing to say to each other. You should know that by now, Charles. I know. And I'm also aware of your pointless attack on Bielum. And you need to know that Bielum and I have... Are sleeping together. I know. And I've made peace with that. You really need to know that Binyelum and I have nothing going on. You just need to know that. Do you think I'm a dollar, Charles? Are you even mad? What do you take me for? Are you listening to yourself talk? You are always together. Yet you tell me that you have nothing to do with each other. 
Are you talking to a child, Charles? Please, I want to sleep. No more. We have nothing going on. You know, just that Binyelum gives me peace of mind. I find peace whenever I'm with her. You know, when a man is tired of nagging and problems in his home, I mean, he goes to somewhere that he can find peace of mind and relax. And with Binyelum, I find peace. Not that something is going on. Something that you clearly do not have. Anyway, the king has given you one month and he's not just messing around. Good night, Jezebel. What have I done what have I to done? deserve this humiliation? What have I done? What have I done? I mean no harm. In our cry, my heart is broken. Where did I go wrong? What did I do? So tell me why. So Chie, mm. you know I love you. I love you too. I I want you to be strong, okay? Despite all the treatment we're having here in the palace, hmm? I mm. want you to stay here with me for as long as I'm stay here, okay? Mm. And I want you to do one thing for me, please. Always be careful, okay? I promise. Please. Just be careful because of this devil. You know what? Just relax. Very soon, I have my own plans. Very soon, you and I will get married, okay? When I'm ready, we'll get married. And once we get married, we'll move away from this palace. We'll go somewhere else and start our own family. Hmm? That's so sweet. I mean, I really can't wait. I can't yeah. wait to start having children for you. <coughs> I can't wait to start taking care of you in our own home. And me too. I can't wait to see you and I with our children surrounding the table. I mean, having a peaceful home. Our home will be extremely peaceful. Sure. Not like what we find in the palace, where one woman has made herself a thorn in everyone's flesh. Even her husband. Don't mind that wicked woman. <laughs> that is a business, okay? I thank God you didn't even look up to her. I didn't you're behaving like, oh, like her. Oh, Who is she? I wouldn't have come close to you. If you know that she's a princess, what would I have done to her? Eh? I would have beaten her deep. To me, she's not a princess. So. What if, uh, <laughs> she's not a princess. She doesn't behave like princess, honestly. <laughs> she's a devil, honestly. I thank God you are not that kind of person. Mm. Uh, if you are that kind of person, I wouldn't have even looked at her. Talk more about the marriages. Why would she be crying? I don't know, but whatever that is making her cry must be very serious. You know, that is what happens when people think that the whole world and everything in it revolves around them. Bro, you're not sounding pitiful. No, I'm not. You know, Pamela needs to understand that she needs everyone to work with, despite her color, 
her status, her language, and whatever about her. Okay? People need to be treated right, not treated anyhow. Right. She might just turn a new leaf. To me, that's what I believe. Well, good for her, if she ever does. I pray so. Mm. You should be drinking some good wine, not this. Not like this. I'm more than this, I'm a big boy. I know that smile. <laughs> what is it this time? <laughs> if what I heard was what I believe, then there is trouble in the land. Ifoma, you like hearing things all the time. Mm -hmm. What did you hear this time? I think I heard the almighty Princess Pamela crying in her room. Crying? That's not possible. When did you hear it? I think her things are beginning to sort out. I leaned over her window and I heard that loud and clear. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> this is serious. Mm -hmm. Come, come, come. You need to tell me more. Mm -hmm. Come! Yes. It's not that I am no longer interested in being in control of my marriage and everything. It's just that I sincerely feel that everything is going out of hand already. Everything has gone south. So you want to throw in the towel? Whoever told you that you win by being a quitter? Look, babe, you need to be on top of your business or have your husband and the whole family toss you around. All these things happen in movie. We see them. They are real. Don't allow anybody to mock you. I know, Lizzie. I know. But this is not working anymore. You want to quit? Quit? <laughs> Quitting has never been a way out. So I should keep pushing it until my marriage and everything is shredded into pieces? That's not going to happen. All you need to do is we strategize. It's all about strategy. Change your strategy and everything will work perfectly well for you. So you mean I'm not doing the wrong thing? No, you're not. Babe, I just want, I want to stop everything now. I don't want things to get out of hand. No. There's something I'm going to tell you. This time around, it's going to work for you. But that should be after our shopping. Lizzie, you think with everything going on right now, I still want to go, go to that party with you? I don't want to attend that party, please. Why not? Why are we not going for the shopping? Is it not for the party? You know what, Lizzie? That's okay. Let's, let's just go for the shopping, okay? Now you're talking. Let's go.
If you don't share something with your mother, who else will you share it with? No one. But honestly, it's not something to even worry yourself about. I will talk about it. But for now, let me figure things out first. You know how disturbed you can be about things sometimes. What is it all about? Who did you Mama, see? What did you see? You're getting yourself worried again. Hey, I've just told you, don't worry. I had a dream. I didn't want to talk about it until I wrapped my head around it. But I think I have to now. Tell me about it. I'm on this road. It's quite lonely and I'm walking all by myself. The next thing your wife's car emerges. Before I could do anything, she ran me over. All I remember was lying there helplessly. Do you think she would want to harm me? I see you still do not want to tell me what you had to discuss with my husband. Um, you are his wife and he is your husband. Oh. Whatever we discussed will be related to you in time, okay? Things are not so smooth, Mr. Accountant. Are you making troubles again? <laughs> Come on. I'm only trying to keep my marriage here. By destroying it. Oh. Anyway, um, if it turns out worse, you know I'd be the happiest man. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Come wasn't, on. Wasn't that the original plan? I'm still married. And you know, I cannot enjoy the benefits I enjoy now if I marry another man. Father will seize all the benefits. Mm hmm. That would take care of itself in time, okay? And I know such a time will never come. You wish. Don't wait on it. <laughs> <laughs> you Your take care now. Right, take care. Nice Drive safely, okay? Yeah. What is this? I'm not understanding anything on this statement of account. What is going on? Sir, I'm as confused as you are. I don't know how this came about. Sir, will really you just shut up? You have your signature signed in all the papers here and you're telling me you don't know what's going on. 
I can take this and get out of my office. Don't get me provoked. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. How come you have your signature signed in all the papers there and you're telling me you don't know what's going on? Just get out. What explanation are you talking about? On those papers were your signature. None was mine, so... Pamela, what are you up to? Do you want to put me in jail? <sighs> Listen, I am sure you have a hand in that. But the question is why? <laughs> Mr. Accountant, I told you to leave this game, you know, to the masters of the game. But no, you always think you know everything. Pamela, I beg you. Okay, I agree. You can have your way. Please, just fix this. I don't want to go to jail. I always have my way, accountant. But you don't have to cry. Now that you've begged me, let's just say... I'll save your ass, as always. But you know what to do afterwards, right? No problem. I'll do it. Just fix this, please. What if Chas later found out you are behind those fake signatures? What's the difference? <clears throat> Besides, I don't play my games the dirty way. He will never find out. So, what's your thought about what I said we should do? <sighs> Honestly, Lizzie, it's a bit out of plan. You scared to get it done? Thank you for making me waste my precious time. You're thinking of what should solve your problems. Come on, Lizzie. The truth is, I don't see that strategy. I'm capable of able to fix my, my problems right now. I, I just feel it will escalate it. I'm sorry, I know you're only looking out for me, but at this point, I... Come on, Liz. Liz. Oh, that's... <laughs> no, 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 no. Whew, it's nothing like that. Harry, of course. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> You know what? I'll get across to you, okay? Yeah. Alrighty. You take care. Bye for now.
Charles. No. Why is your wife not at the table with us? She says she's not hungry. Did you two have a fight at the office? Mm -mm, not at all. You know, I've not spoken with her for some time now. She just like to keep to herself. Not only here in the house, she actually took it to the office. Now that I think this royal home is gradually falling apart, it wasn't like this before. Not at all. Yes, it wasn't this like this before. This has changed. Zubi is right. But I think you have to do something about it. As much more to the front of chimpanzee. It's all right, uh, I, I will have a word with Pamela. Beautiful, beautiful. But in the meantime, I suggest we leave I go. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the This food is delicious. That's what I'm going to this is our cooker. Eh? Finger of ingredients. I can have one. Let's uh, put our attention on the incessant calls. Charles, I suggest you return that call, or those calls, because uh, it might be something serious. Yes, right now. I am definitely not returning this phone. That will be over my dead body. What is the phone? I am not over the dead body. What is the phone, bro? Season. <laughs> Charles. Right. Go and get that phone and uh, return the calls. Like I said, it might be something very serious. Excuse me. Dad, you just called your esteemed daughter in law a liar. Uh, come on, Zoe. We all know that she lies. Of course, we know she lies, but you are not supposed to tell her to her face. I don't understand you anymore. You and your brother have been accusing me of always taking sides with her. Now I've taken sides with you. I mean, what have I done wrong? That I think 
that kind of ruined everything. I don't see Charles coming back here with that phone. What nonsense! Rubbish! Rubbish! Bro, calm down. What nonsense is this? Calm down. What is what is what is what 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 is actually going on? Bro, calm down. What happened? She locked me out. And also assist my phone. Dad, I told you. I know Pamela. I know what she can do. <laughs> well, uh, I advise that both of you should relax. She is going to return that phone. For now, let's just allow her to be. But father, what if the reason beyond call is serious? Then you have no option than to go and see her. No, I, I really don't think so. Why? Charles, don't let her lies make your truth seem like a lie. Do you understand that? Absolutely not. Young lady, there's no point sitting here. You need to save your mother. Go and get the money so that we can process the operation. Doctor, please. I don't have any way to get this money. Look, she's all I have. Please, I'm begging you. Please. You have been helping you. And there's nothing I can do now. We need to do everything real quick. Let me say that first. I'll, I'll find a way to get the money. Please, I'm begging. Sorry to tell you, Henry, that this is not a title organization. Without the money, I cannot do anything. Please. What is wrong with you? I'm going to break your bones. Do not further provoke me. Break whose bones, Charles? I dare you to try to keep your man enough. Try it if you not see yourself rotting in a jail cell. You would not dare it, Charles. You would not dare. What is wrong with you two? What is wrong with you? You think you're a man? You're not, ma you're not man enough are you with that tiny, whiny, little thing dangling between your legs. Are you, you are not man Charles, enough, Charles. Charles. I Charles. dare you. Charles. Try it and see. Charles. Just try it. Charles. You think I'm scared of Charles. you? Charles, shut up. Wait, shut wait, up. Wait, I'm going to break that door. Shut what? Wait, wait, wait. Shut what, Charles? Charles, don't allow her. Charles, to shut what? What you have not done before all your life. Please. Bunch of. We're keeping quiet in this house and this, this, this is just keep messing up, messing up. Who is an idiot, Charles? Who are you talking to? You are talking to you. No, you, you can't even talk you. to me, Charles. You can't. You know you can't talk and to me. And who the hell are you? I am Princess Pamela. The only daughter of Go to hell, Princess Pamela. You get out, Charles. Charles. Get out. Calm down. If she do not provide my phone now, I am going to change your color right really? now. Really? What are you waiting for, Charles? I dare you. Do it. Charles. Charles, if you're man enough, do it! Charles, I can get you. You think I'm scared of you? I can what get rubbish! You. Charles, I can get you. Calm down. Nonsense! You think you're a man? And look at this one. Coming into my material home. Oh. Allow me to, to Charles. Why are you even holding me? Why are you holding me? Let's hide. Why are you holding me? This kid's an animal. Hey, go hide, go hide, go hide. See, she's holding my phone. Father said I should not call me alone. I don't know if the reason she, she, she called is, is, is serious. I need to know, I need to get my phone. Charles, I can get you another phone. And I know you don't want to get into her father's black boy. Hey, stop that. Don't talk that rubbish, my friend. I hate it when you people talk nonsense about her father. Who, are they? Who the hell is her father? Who is her father? Her father is nonsense to me. Just Who are you? Good day, sir. Yes? Please, my name is Binyelum, and I'm here to see Prince Charles. Did he ask you to call? Not really, but please, I need to talk to him. It's something important. Please, I, I need to talk to him. He's not around. Sir, sir, please. He's not around now. Are you mad? How dare you come to the palace? Jesus. What audacity! You know what? You just wait for me there.
wait for me there because I will deal with you. Idiot! Cockroaches everywhere. See, 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 I don't know you, eh? But you have to leave now. You have to leave now. If you love yourself, you see that woman, eh? She tears people into shreds. If you love your life, you have to leave now. Oh, leave oh, now. Oh, oh, the priest oh, is not around, oh, but whenever he returns, I will tell him you, you came by. Please, just thank you so much. Please, go, 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 go. What next? Where is that idiot? Look at this one. Look at that head. Black devil. Where are they? Monkeys everywhere. Crockroaches. Animal. Useless thing. Let me see her here next time. Then she will know why I'm called Princess Pamela. Animals. Insolent fools. Brother. Calm down. But frankly speaking, this is getting out of hand. What are you going to do now? I swear, I am going to kill that girl. Killing her is not answer to the question. Why not you call me with my, my phone? I do not have the number in my head. Shit. Would I suggest you run away? I mean, run away from this, this lady. Run away? Yes. For now. Don't worry. I know what to do to Pamela. Brother, I, I, I am wondering what you are going to do to her that way. That will make her feel it. I don't think that girl feels anything. <sighs> don't worry. I know what to do. So what are you going to do? What I'm going to do, right? Yes. I'm going to do something now. Wait. No, 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 no. Allow me. No, stay Just back. get off my way. No, please stay back. Please. Don't do anything with her. You will regret it. Please. It's closing hours, so I want to go home with my husband. As what? And where is your car? Well, I stopped bringing it to work. Henceforth, you and I come to work together, and we live together as a loving couple that we are. And what's the meaning of that? Meaning of... Oh, baby. Well, if you must know, I will not have another woman take my husband from me. And what are you insinuating? Oh, I get it. This is what it is, right? You know what? Meet me in the car when you're ready.
If you have something to say, just say it already. Out with it. Why are you beating around the bush? What's the problem? Pamela, you've graduated from hurting and stalking people in this palace. You now go about burning down the means of livelihood of poor masses in the community. Pamela, aren't you ashamed of yourself? This is how you're going to win these people. When your husband eventually becomes the king of this kingdom, is this how you're going to win them? Come on, Pamela. No. First off, what are you babbling about? Secondly, I have no idea.